In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the features of the brand new Azon Keyword Generator 3.0. Now, we do have other older videos that are located on this page you're looking at for the previous versions of this software, and I recommend watching those ones as well because in those videos, I uh, tend to show some really cool methods on basically making money with Amazon. So there's always cool little things in there you may miss, so it's a good idea just to watch them as well. But for this video, let's just con concentrate on the new features we've integrated. So with this software, what it does is it will uh, generate a ton of um, highly searched popular keywords, and most importantly, it extracts the keywords from Amazon website. You can extract it from Amazon.com as well as Amazon.co.uk, um, which is the United Kingdom Amazon site. These are the two most popular Am Amazon sites, and you'll get more than enough um, keywords that you could use for doing research into what products you'd like to promote as an Amazon affiliate. So let's go ahead and do an example here. So what you want to do is enter in your seed keywords here, and these are basically your um, your main niche keyword that you want to be focusing on. So what I like to do is you can enter multiple keywords. So this is a new feature integrated into this new version where you can enter in more than one keyword where previous versions you could not do that. So let's say for example you do uh, iPod, iPad, iPhone, something like that. And now we can go ahead and click the start button and it will quickly go out and grab a whole bunch of keywords for us. And I'll explain exactly how the software is extracting the keywords and and where it's getting it from. So we can see here it's quickly going through and we've got 938 uh, keywords and they're all unique keywords so there there's no duplicates in here. And what we're seeing here is, is the rank, the site, the keywords came from, the seed keyword, as well as the keyword itself. So I'm going to explain what the seed keyword is in the rank right now. <clears throat> so these keywords are generated based on the seed keyword. So let's use the iPod example. And they're coming directly from Amazon.com. So as we select it up here, I'm going to go to Amazon.com. And if you go to their search engine and you just start typing in iPod, you'll notice all these keywords that show up down below here. Well, these are keyword suggestions being provided by the Amazon search engine. And these keywords are the most popular keywords that consumers are typing into this little search box. And and more specifically, it's the next keyword that they're most likely going to be searching for. So if you put a space and you type the letter A, you'll notice you get a whole set of keywords that begin with iPod then A. Well, if you do the same with B and C and D, and then you continue all the way through the alphabet, in addition, use the numbers. So zero, one, two, you get a whole bunch of keywords. And that's exactly where the software is extracting the keywords from. So you can actually see in the software here, you got the seed keyword where it got that actual keyword originated from. So the software took the word iPod and it appended the letter zero and it got this keyword here. So if we actually sort by here, we can see, for example, all the Z when it got to the letter Z in the alphabet, these are all the keywords that it found. And it gives you the rank. And so what is the rank exactly? So the rank basically is the position of the keyword. So if we go back and just append a letter A, this is rank one, rank two, rank three, four, five, six, seven, and, and so on and so forth. So that tells you the rank position for this particular key, uh, seed keyword. So each one of these keywords based off the this seed has a rank which basically gives you the position. So what I'm trying to get at here is the lower the rank, so if the rank is number one, the better. That tells you that that's going to be the next most popular keyword that a consumer is going to be typing into the search engine here. And so you want to be focusing your research all on the low rank keywords. So if we sort by a keyword here, you can see all these keywords came up as the number one position in that little suggestion box from these seed keywords. And the seed keyword originated from the main seed keyword here then, uh, with a letter appended to it. <clears throat> so you see how powerful this is. And there's one thing you, you have to realize here is that when people go to Amazon, they actually go there to buy stuff. So they're already conditioned in their mind mentally before they even show up to Amazon that, hey look, I'm looking for something to buy. Because if you think about it, people don't really go to Amazon to do market research or Actually, no, that's wrong. 
marketers do, <laughs> but consumers in general, they don't go there looking for information about something, right? If you want to, you know, learn about a, a 3D TV, you don't really go to Amazon. You kind of go to Google first and you start typing in 3D TV and start looking at reviews and different companies and all that kind of stuff. So that research um, kind of phase in, in inside your customer's mind starts usually on a search engine and then it ends up on Amazon. So by the time they get there and start searching in Amazon, they're already conditioned to buy. That means those keywords, these keywords here, are extremely valuable in terms of getting customers to buy stuff. And as an affiliate, that's what you want to focus on. You want to focus your attention on these um, really popular keywords that are getting low ranks. And so that's what that does. So let me just continue here and show you some of the other features within the software. And so what you can do here, if you start on the left hand side, there are some buttons at the bottom here that allows you to copy things from the clipboard. So if you have keywords copied to your clipboard, you can just paste them in here. I've got nothing copied to my clipboard. Or you can click this to, um, oh sorry, this copies what's in the box to the clipboard. And then this will paste to the box what's in the clipboard. So you can see it just pasted what we copied there. That's what that all is. And you can use this button to clear out what was already there. Let's paste it back in. You can select the site that you want to search. So let's go ahead and do the UK and do that. And we'll see if we'll get any more. It looks like we're getting more keywords here. All right, I just paused the video there for a little bit and it got 1,300. So I got an extra about 300 to 400 new uh, keywords that it found and they're all unique in here because uh, the software will only extract unique keywords. So now we can sort by rank and we got all the best keywords from the two top most popular Amazon sites so these are very valuable keywords for these seed keywords that's if you want to get into marketing uh, you know I iOS devices but let me show you some other features here so one thing you can do is you, you'll notice when you sort a column you'll see this little arrow and a number one in there and what that means is if we've integrated the ability to do multi sort you can do multi column sort and that comes in handy when you have a, a row that has a whole bunch of duplicates like if you look at this row here there's a whole bunch of duplicates there's a whole bunch that came from amazon.com and a whole bunch that came from the UK but you'd want to uh, say for example sort all of these by the amazon.com and, uh, and the amazon UK and also sort within those the rank so you can do that by simply what you do is you hold down once you once you sort here you hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then you click another column to sort now it's going to sort within those two by keeping them all in in uh, in their own group sort of thing that's a handy little thing to do um, you can also do it this way like say you want to sort by all the different uh, keywords here that have the alphabet appended to it and also the numbers and you can also sort by the rank and get the rank within those similar keyword sets. So you can see um, for this keyword set here that originated from putting the number one after the word iPad, you can get all the, the associated ranks for these keywords there. So it's just another alternative to sorting, giving you that extra ability to do these multi-sorts. So it's kind of handy little feature we've integrated. Um, what you can do as well, let's say you want to get all the number one ranks out of there, you can just simply select and right click and copy these keywords to your keyboard. Or you can just go control C on your on your keyboard as well. Actually select anything, go control C and if you open up a plain text document and just control V or uh, file paste or right click and paste, it will just paste from what you copied in there. So it's made it really simple. Let's say you just wanted to copy all just the number one ranks. You select the first one at the very top and just scroll down with your mouse until you get to the end of number one right here. And whoops, I forgot to hold down my shift key. <laughs> Let's try that again. And so hold down the shift key there and it'll select them all. Then you can right click and copy or just go control C on your keyboard and you'll get all those keywords like that. That's pretty cool. And of course you can export your data by using the save button here at the top. So you can export um, to a keywords data file. So if we save that there, we can save it as a keywords data file. Now a keywords data file can only be opened within the keyword um, generator file, uh, software, the Azon Keyword Generator. So if you save this, you'll notice it's, it's AKGF is the name of the file, the extension. That's an Azon Keyword Generator file. So if we go ahead and save that there, 
you can only open that file within this software so you can't open it up in some other software but we give you some other formats here you can save as uh, comma separated value this is can be opened up in Excel or any spreadsheet program another one that's very popular is the open office calc program so we can save that and we can also export it as a text file and here's another cool little feature we integrated you will notice that under the save or the open you'll notice this extra one down at the bottom says open last working folder that comes in handy when you um, you see we just saved the file and I don't want to go hunting through my Windows Explorer to uh, try to find where I saved it so I just go here and it just t software tells me where I just saved it I just saved it in this folder here which is the install directory of the software so I love that little handy feature I thought I integrated I integrated that in all three of the softwares it's really handy so now we can take a look at the keywords. You can see here it's all, all extracted, and as well as the uh, CSV file. So this one will come up in my Microsoft Excel, and you can see you get all the data in the Excel file. And let's go ahead and you could use this clear button to clear everything out, and we can use the open. We can load our keywords file. As you can see here for the open, you can only load and open. Um, keyword data file. You can also append a data file. So say you have a whole bunch of them, you can append another one. But you can see here it appended the same, so now we have duplicates in there. But anyhow, so I use that feature. So let's just bring in, I think I got everything here, so let me make sure. When you right click, you'll have some other options here. Oh yeah, I forgot one big feature here I imp implemented. This is awesome. I should have shown this right in the very beginning here. Um, one thing you can do here is for each of these keywords you can check out the Google Insights and that gives you an idea of how strong the keyword has been over time. Check this out. All you have to do is just double click any keyword and it brings up this extra window and this little window is just a built-in web browser that takes you directly to the Google Insights for that keyword. So iPhone headphones you can see since 2007 it's been slowly rising in interest so this is basically the interest over time this gives you an idea you want to be looking at keywords that have strong consistent interest that's steady or slowly rising you don't want to find something that's slowly decreasing right so that's a cool little feature you can also just right click and view Google Trends in your web browser so it'll take you directly to the web browser and search for that word for you you get all this extra information even gives you related search terms and all sorts of cool stuff in here so that's a feature we integrated as well you can also just search Google for that keyword so say for iPhone repair kit you can right click search Google and it goes on over to Google and searches for you there's another one in here that takes you to the Google um, keyword planner tool and you'll have to have an account to, in order to use it. And I'll create another video that shows you how to use that keyword planner tool to get search volumes by Google. So, I think anything else here I've, I've missed for the help videos, you can click here to go to the help videos or go directly to the members login to uh, go in and uh, look at other stuff, your bonuses and videos and things like that. You can check out our Facebook page at the time of recording this video. It's not updated yet. I plan on updating the, uh, the image there. And we do have another button for cool stuff. It just goes to a resources page. This will probably redirect to a different place there in the future. And that's basically everything uh, I've covered in the video, except for one button here, GoDaddy. It's just a GoDaddy button. It just takes you on to GoDaddy.com for um, using, you know, checking out domains based on the keywords. I'll create another video to show how to use this. And um, that's basically it. That's all I want to show. I just want to show you all the features within the new software. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.